Hey guys, it's Melanie. How you doing? Um, well, I'm a little late. Um, I'm about maybe I, I was supposed to do a video on Tuesday, so today is uh, Thursday, so I'm two days late. Sorry about that. Um, okay, well, there's not much going on actually. Um, well, actually there is, but as far as the weight department, there's not much going on. Um, I I'm I'm actually right now I'm in between 232 and 231 which you know I'm really frustrated about because I was telling you guys that I had increased my workouts you know I've been working out uh, between two two and a half hours and I did that for five days straight you know uh, last week and I only managed to lose a pound you know and, and, and that gets really frustrating in it and you put yourself down and be like well, you know what are you doing wrong and stuff like that but I don't know it's just becoming har harder now I mean I guess you know I was used to losing between you know, four, three to four pounds a week, and, and now, you know, losing this one pound is, like, getting really frustrating. Well, you know, at least I lost something, and hey, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, 232 now. I, I'm going between 231 and 232, difference of one to two pounds from last week of 234. So, um, and it's frustrating because I've been in the 230s going on now for three weeks you know this is my six weeks post up and I really wanted to be under the 230s this week you know I, I want to hit the, that 50 pound mark already you know but whatever um, today was my fill and I wasn't really gonna go into it because I really got upset about it um, the girl that did my fill she was um, a practitioner's assistant um, first of all let me tell you that I, I made a huge complaint on her um, after my fill today which wasn't even gonna happen um, I called in and I you know I spoke with the manager and she told me that she was gonna speak to my doctor and she was gonna speak to her about it and um, so I wasn't really going to go into it because it gets me upset all over it all over again and I and I told several people today like you know my sister and you know one of my friends and my husband so um what happened was that okay let me try to say this without getting upset but she wasn't even going to give me my fill today um, I did tell her, you know, that I was starting to experience, um, you know, becoming hungry more more frequently and stuff. And she she didn't think that it was necessary for for me to uh, do the fill or whatever. She says that I wasn't using my lap band properly, and she specifically said that why? Because um, she asked me a question. First of all, she was asking me a whole bunch of questions, like if I had my freaking food diary right in front of me you know there's some things that I don't remember especially in the freaking morning you know and she was asking me a whole bunch of stuff like you know what type of stuff do you eat you know and I told her you know well right now I'm only eating chicken you know grilled chicken salad and stuff like that um, and then um, she told me um, that I wasn't getting enough protein which is correct I wasn't getting enough protein and stuff like that but um, the stuff that she said was very inappropriate. Appropriate. Um, she told she told me that I was malnourishing my body. Um, she had a problem with me getting a fill today. She had a problem with um, actually numbing me today. And the she was like, "Oh, I don't know why you want to get a fill because most of the um, you know some of the patients I have don't even get fills. You know, they go on and." they lose weight like that you know what I'm saying and then in my head I'm like so then what's the purpose of getting a freaking lap band I mean what kind of bullshit is that you know I mean I'm like seriously and I'm like coming from Jersey to freaking Long Island which is about an hour and a half away so you better do my fill today I mean I wasn't even trying to hear it I mean I waited her to talk how whatever she wanted to talk for like 30 minutes and at the end she gave me my fill and then you know what upset me more was when she was like Oh, I'm gonna give you my, your fill or whatever, but it's gonna be without medical um, consent or whatever, medical clearance. I'm like, you know, I'm six weeks post up. What's the fucking problem, you know? And she told me that, I, like I said, she told me I was sabotaging my band because I did tell her I was trying to be honest, you know. And I told her, um, 
uh, she asked me about liquids, uh, you know, and I, and I said, yeah, you know, I drink, you know, 30 minutes after after my meal, and she, like, freaking had a heart attack. She was like, oh, no, you're supposed to drink an hour after your meal, you know, and that's why you're not using your brand properly, and that's why you're getting hungry more frequently, and um, she also told me, um, oh, and then I asked her a question about, you know, can I drink Diet Coke or caffeine or something, and she goes, oh! Now you're scaring me, and uh, you are never to drink uh, soda again. You're never supposed to drink carbonated drinks, and caffeine. Um, you know, well, you can have that once in a while or whatever, but you sh you really shouldn't, you know. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, can't I ask questions? Like seriously, you know? And um, yeah, she just make me made me sound uneducated. She says that that I'm misinformed and miseducated uh, about the lab ban procedure and um, that I should go to a support group and stuff like that just because I'm asking questions you know just because I was being honest you know I don't wait an hour to drink fluid after I eat I don't I'm sorry you know what I'm saying and you know if I don't get enough protein in, I mean I can't do anything about that because I'm a very picky eater I'm only going to, you know, I'm only going to eat chicken. That's the only protein that I'm getting in besides, you know, drinking, you know, um, shakes or whatever, protein shakes, you know, which, you know, I really had stopped doing for a while because I got sick of them, you know, and I'm not going to freaking lie about that, you know. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not drinking enough protein and yeah, you know, but you don't have to come out your face like that. I mean, what are you? You know, you're here to help me. And, um... Yeah, she just got me pissed. She said, sabotaging my band. I'm, I'm like, I'm uneducated. I need to join a support group. You know, she didn't want to give me my, my, you know, my, my Novocaine to numb my stomach. You know, everything was a freaking problem. So I have reported her ass. I mean, I'm sure I left out a whole bunch of stuff, you know, but I really don't even want to repeat everything she said because I really don't want to get pissed off. Um, so yeah, that was that. I ended up getting my band. It turns out that I had, um, three CCs in there already. Which, you know, I didn't even know, but um, it was like this blue liquid or whatever that they put inside me. I don't even know if it was saline or whatever. So she, what she did first was she unfilled me first with that, with those, the um, that blue liquid or whatever. She put, she did put the um, she she did put the Novocaine and she did numb me, and um, it, actually it didn't even hurt. You know, the um, after she, that that uh, Novocaine, it stung for a little bit, and then the um the uh the the needle didn't hurt afterwards you know so and yeah she was telling me oh yeah most most patients uh don't get the um num the the novocaine or you know to numb or whatever and they find it easier and, and i'm like whatever i mean like i'm requesting it just give it to me stop giving me a freaking problem you know <laughs> i mean it was crazy she was a real real bitch and i mean that from the bottom of my heart and I really didn't want to scream at her and say anything to her because I didn't want her to like sabotage my, you know, filling me up or whatever and like not filling me properly. So I just asked the next time that I go over there not for her ever to see me again and never to do my fills. I have no idea why my doctor can't do my fill. I mean, I guess because he's busy with surgeries and they have these other people doing fills and stuff. But yeah, I never want to see her face because the next time I see her face, I don't know what I'm going to do to her. I probably will fucking punch the shit out of her. That's how pissed she got me. And, um, so I'm up to four CCs now in a 10 CC band. So, yep. Um, they have me on uh, clear liquids for two days. No, not clear liquids, full liquids for two days. And then after that, I'm soft foods and then, you know, go on to my regular diet. Um,. But uh, besides all the madness from this weekend and today, I did manage to lose another jean size. I'm a size 16 now, so um, that's pretty out of the ordinary because I, two weeks ago I just got into 17, 18 jeans and they fit me completely loose. And I went to my favorite stores, Rainbows, and I did try on a 16, and 16 was my size, and just to make sure. I wasn't crazy. I tried on two, three pairs of jeans, and that's right. I'm a size 16 now, so yeah.